Elon Musk ex explains Neuralink. Honest, of all, of all the things you do and all the companies you run, I think it's all awesome. The one thing that does concern me, and I know concerns a lot of people out there, so I do have to bring it up, which is Neuralink. Sure. So firstly, can you explain what Neuralink is and what the goal of it is? Uh, we put a, a chip in your brain to control your mind. Yeah. And that's, listen, listen, listen closely. Do not get fooled by that joke. You know, the best way to tell the truth is in a joke. Okay. Get that straight. The best way to tell a truth is in a joke. That's what he's doing right here. But in this instance, he's tried to make it look like it's not to control your brain. You know, like, oh, that's silly. Why would you think me connecting your brain into a computer could make me see your thoughts and control your brain? That's dumb in foil hat stuff. That's stupid, man. How, how could anybody come to that conclusion? Okay. <laughs> I think it's all awesome. The one thing that does concern me, and I know concerns a lot of people out there, so I do have to bring it up, which is Neuralink. Sure. So firstly, can you explain what Neuralink is and what the goal of it is? Uh, we put a, a chip in your brain to control your mind. Yeah. True. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <continue. laughs> to control your mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Concerns not alleviated. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> jump right in. <laughs> Step right up. Who wants one? Let's continue. Um, no. So, for, so Neuralink, you'll be able to see Neuralink coming from a very long distance because. What, oh, what kind of a fucking answer is that? Hey, Elon. I'm, I'm concerned that this will uh, control my brain. And then he throws in a joke, and then I say, but, but let's get serious here. Yeah, the answer to that question, if this is to control your brain, is this. Well, you will see it coming. It will go slowly. Oh, okay. Then I'm, I'm, then I'm all relaxed, man. If it goes slowly, then fine by me, man. Connect my brain. Any device, Neuralink, come. Um... <laughs> No, so, for, so Neuralink, you'll be able to see Neuralink coming from a very long distance because it's over there. any device that you implant in a human is you have to go through a million, so many tests. Um, it, it moves very slowly. You just How, What does that have to do with if this is going to control my mind or not? Well, see, this, uh, we'll have to go through a bunch of tests and stuff. And, you know, we might fail and we might succeed. And, um, you know, what does that have to do with the question? <laughs> to a few people at a time and then um, okay. you, you go to extreme lengths to prove safety. Um, you have to go through the FDA approvals. Like we're not trying to sidestep any, you know. Uh, FDA. Okay, then it's, then it's secure. You know, the same people who said, you know what, during these last three years. Yes. Uh, regulatory approvals. We're, oh. Um, doing everything, you know, by oh. the book and. Uh, by the book, yeah. Maximum. By the book, how to control humans' brains. By the book, step one, lie. <laughs> step two, connect the chip inside of their brain. But really, actually, we're going uh, far beyond what the requirements are of the FDA from a safety Ooh, standpoint. Okay. Um, and the, the initial devices will really just be. A pretty basic um hey think about this idea this is a horror idea you have that chip in you right and it controls you but you can still you're still in there but you can't control you and that chip tells you to take the you know what the mosquito against your will and you're sitting there watching yourself walking to the place where you get the mosquito bite you're like no no it's going anyways you have no control of your own body. No, I don't want to. I don't want to take the mosquito bite. Down, no, yeah. No. And the doctor says, "How many mosquito bites you want? Nine. No, no I don't want. I don't want even one. <laughs> be about restoring functionality to people who've lost their connection between their their brain and their body. 
that's watch out for that that's the link that's how he's gonna uh, introduce this shit and of course it's a good idea you know shit are you blind Neuralink can solve it for you you know are you paralyzed Neuralink can solve it for you you know that's a that's a good you know excuse to do this to be frank it's a very good excuse but that's how they lure you in in it. So you can imagine like if, say, Stephen Hawking could talk, yeah, communicate um, as fast as uh, somebody with a fully functioning body. Imagine that would be amazing. So that's people. like the, what we're trying to do. That, that's our first application is to restore functionality to quadriplegics. That's, listen to that. That's our first application. That, that's our first application is to restore functionality. Yeah, that, yeah I want to go to the last application <laughs> you know skip all of those things i want to know are you gonna control my brain you already said that you are though to quadriplegics tetraplegics and, and people who have just for whatever reason uh, no longer have a connection between or, if, uh, or a limited connection you between care their, so their, much their, about those people their, right their brain and their body mm -hmm. yes. um yes. and then the second application would be restoration of eyesight. So if somebody's yeah, uh, yeah. gone completely blind, maybe even yeah, has lost the good. optic nerve, that's good. Um, you can actually still uh, directly uh, stimulate the neurons in the visual part of the, the cortex. Um, so you can give, give a direct vision to the brain. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, you could actually, depending upon what cameras you use, you could actually see in different wavelengths. Okay. You know, that's sick. You can have like night vision, x-ray vision. This just proves this whole thing is a simulation, man. We are living in a simulation. You can put in fake eyes with new functions better than your own eyes. You become the Terminator. And we are a biological computer. Otherwise, how the fuck could you connect a chip to something biological? You know what I mean? We are a biological computer. You know, like uh, oh, wow. Jordy LaForge from like, you know, you could like have that, like, <laughs> I, I actually watched like a, an episode of Star Trek Next Generation with special effects compared to what we're used to or like, you know. Uh, hey, look at his uh, shirt. He has that fake globe with his fake car in fake space with the fake launch. It's all fake, man. Not that great, but he's got like the wraparound, you know. Uh, glasses and you can see in different uh, oh, how wavelengths cool. uh, so you can see like uh, ultraviolet you know, infrared and that kind of thing so you can actually do that you can see dude like, I'm not Terminator you man you can see in radar if you want mm. you know? and what's the what's the long term what's the long term goal for it because I, I think myself <laughs> and others I think the, the the first part is the first part sounds look sounds how fine, uncomfortable yeah that's like hard to argue it's so right? uncomfortable yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but long term I think I mean, the concern that people have is is this just leading us into this dystopian transhumanist future? No, no. Where where does it go? What are the, what are the ethical boundaries of it? Not well, I mean, the thing I wanted to emphasize is that it's not going to like sort of pounce on us overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll, you'll, he, you'll see it. That's his, that's his answer to, is this going to control my brain? And he goes back to, it's not going to happen overnight. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it happens overnight or 50 years or whatever. I want to know. Will you be able to control my mind today or next year or a decade from now or a century from now? What's the goals? That's what I want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know that it's going to take time. Coming. It's gonna How the fuck can I trust that? Once I have that chip, maybe it's installing something in my brain. Maybe it's not ready to read my mind at that moment, but it's installing something that will, uh, you know, <coughs> sway me to take the second chip or upgrade the chip that I already have or not even make me so that I don't even take it out. You know what I mean? How the fuck, man? Very slow. In fact, I, I really think that um, artificial general intelligence or digital superintelligence is likely to arrive before we have really advanced neural links. At least that's where the trend is right now. How is that the answer so, to the question? Um, but, but, but ultimately, the idea would be to achieve a symbiosis between our biological 
mind and our kind of digital mind. So we, we're you already... See? You see? He wants the humans to connect with the robots. You know, step by step. Eventually, it's all just robots. <laughs> you know what I mean? I believe they wanna, they wanna, they wanna connect you. They wanna uh, trap your soul. You know what I mean? They wanna trap your soul into a machine, and then you can never die. And that will be like what the Bible says, for example. Like there will come a time where you will seek death, and you can't find it, and that is hell. You know what I mean? Think about it. Trapped in your own skull. Trapped in your own head. And they keep the machine alive. And you can't die. You can't even control. That's hell. It's no fucking fires. I don't believe in that. It's not a fire. You know, hell can be many different things. But anyways. So I don't know about this guy, man. This guy is very sneaky. Sneaky guy. <laughs>